Hello, warriors! Welcome to Keon Plays! Sammy Ride Love Ballad Party? Let's get started, Samurai Warriors. Follow the Samurai Warriors Princess. I'm the Samurai Warriors Princess. And you're my soldiers. Ha! Of my army, of the Keon Hero Army. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah, I really like it. Lord Masamuni Detour takes up a hill overlooking the city. Thank you for sharing such a beautiful place with me. I take a deep breath, the crisp fresh air making me feel so much better. There's a nice breeze too about that tea shop. He mummers quietly as he looks down into the city. What did those men say to you? Well, um, although I hesitate for a moment, I end up telling him everything. But when I do, Lord Masamuni just smiles as if it is already forgotten. What is that all? Let them say whatever they want about me. But... As long as you know the truth, none of that matters. He gives me the kindest smile I have ever seen. A little timid, slightly boyish even. It makes my heart ache. How am I supposed to resist you when you look at me like that? I reach up into my hair, acting like the wind is forcing me to keep it down. Hey. Lord Masamuni is no longer speaking to me instead, looking towards the nearby tree. What are you two doing? <laughs> How did he know that Kojiro and um, Zane was there? He asks, eyes narrowed. Lord Masamune? Oh, Masamuni, what a coincidence. <laughs> Lord Zane and Lord Kojiro peek out from behind the tree. Huh? What are those two doing here? Forgive us. We just thought we saw you up here, my lord. And are we interrupting? Lord Kojo says with a grin. Interrupting. Lord Masamune's brows knit together and he looks away. I can't believe you two. Sorry. We didn't mean to get in the way, honestly. Right. Wait, what do they think they're interrupting exactly? I look over at again at Lord Masamuni who still looks quite distressed for him anyways. That's funny. I knew freaking is like, oh, my little my it's like their parents like like this for example. Oh, my my child, my child is dating. I need to stalk them. I need to stalk them. That's funny. Anyways, um, oh, hold on, I got a yawn. Ugh. Okay, I had a yawn. A few days later, I am doing Lord Masamuni dishes as usual when... Are you the one they call Kion? Immediately, I bow. But why is Lady Yan... Yoshihan speaking to me. We haven't so much as formally met. Something about seeing her makes me very tense to the point where I can't relax. I had not a single clue that you were actually a woman. Forgive me for my deceit, lady. So, my dear, would you join me for tea? Honestly, I am shocked at her sudden invitation. To be honest, you scared the shit out of me. I don't even know if I can trust you. You seem shady. Also, as shocked as I am by her ready smile, it's hard to believe that this woman is the same one who has such hatred for Lord Masamune. But I suppose I shouldn't be thinking about that when she's right here in front of my face. Thank you very much for the invitation, Lady Yoshiheim. However, as Lord Masamuni's page, I would suppose that it would be difficult for me to justify sitting at 
the same table. Don't be ridiculous. All I am asking of you is to speak with me, girl. Talk is that all? Her offer is friendly enough, but it is clear that there is a suitable threat behind her words. Good God, she scares me. So now what I do do? At the very least, lady, I must obtain Lord Masamune's permission first. Thankfully, before the conversation goes too far, a familiar voice comes to the rescue. Keon, Lord Masamuni requests you to return to his side immediately. <laughs> Kojiro, stop. That's funny. He got cut off. He's like, what the heck is going on? Oh, Lady Yoshiheim. Lord Kojiro. Were you two in the middle of something? Do forgive me, my lady, but Keon has some urgent business to attend to. Would you mind? Though Lord Kodro is just as calm and polite as ever, Lady Yoshiham gives him an icy glare before turning away. Do forgive me for getting in the way, Keon. Leaving those quiet, demur words behind her, Lady Yoshiham walks away. What did she tell you? I'm glad I, I can say her name now. She asked me to tea. Lord Kojiro gives me a troubled look. I see. Leave telling Lord Masamune about this to me. Thank you. Sighing, I finally feel the tension leave my shoulders. Burn. That was intense. Okay, Warriors, so let's continue on. <clears throat> Lord Kojiro immediately makes his way to Lord Masamuni's room after partying with Kion. Lord Masamuni, this has come for you. Lord Masamuni reads over the scroll he had been given, Browse Furrow. Thank you very much. I will leave the rest of this matter to you. It shall be done, my lord. But before I go, I do have some one more thing to tell you. Lord Masamuni looks up slowly from the page. I caught Lady Yoshihime speaking to Keon. My mother was speaking to her. I believe it would be predominant to keep an eye on things. Understood. Please go. I mean, do. Masamuni sighs heavily, putting his head in his hands. All right. I'll take this one out. Thanks. That night, I'm helping with the retainer's dinner in the kitchen. It's a huge feast, actually, to celebrate the birth of one of their children. Well, I guess I sh still have to help out sometimes. It's not like they get a new maid every time one of them has a kid. Ah, uh, this... Ah, uh, is this one of Lo for Lord Masamune? It is. I stare at it just as dutifully and beautifully prepared as all the retainers. Oh, it looks so good. Maybe he'll actually eat this, even though it, I wasn't the one who made it. Besides, it's not as if his reputation is the same now as it was when I came here. It's clear that everyone in the kitchen has really done their best making the food too. It would be nice if Lord Masabuni would be able to see that not everyone is out to get him. I smile and get back to work. However, at the start of the feast, I finally served Lord Masabuni, but I can't take my eyes off that tray. Huh? Something isn't right. 
when I saw it before, I thought it was done, but there's one more dish on the tray than there was before. Is it poison? Is it poison? Lord Masamuni, calm as ever, is already reaching out to take the new dish. Lord Masamune, I know that it's just my intuition, but still, I stop him before he can touch it. Hmm? What is it? That dish. Would you please use the silver chopsticks first? He does, and my blood runs cold as I watch them intensely turn black. Keon, it appears I owe you my life again. Oh no. I can't help but feel depressed when again I am the one making Lord Masamuni even more meal. I thought that we would be over this by now. All the returners speak so well of him now and yet. But what makes me most regretful is knowing that thanks to this things really haven't changed since that first day at all. And who did this? Ooh. Anyways, um, a few days later, Lord Zane tells us he has found the would-be poisoner in Pelled Face. He comes before us. The one who tried to poison you was- What? What? Kodro! Oh my gosh! No! It can't be! Kodro! What the fu- What? I can't believe that. I can't believe that. It can't be. It cannot be Kodro. Uh, no, 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 no. No. This is messed up. Okay, so I got a letter and um, it says at the bottom, you know that Lord Kodro must have been set up, but in your pursuit of the truth, you may find that is your life that has been in danger all along, Keon. Oh, so I'm the one supposed to be dead? I think it was Lady Yoshihana that did it. I don't know. It might be her. I can't believe it can't be Ki um, Kodro. <coughs> What is this? The um, incident of Honoji with freaking Nobunaga with Mitsuhide? Mitsuhide tries to kill Nobunaga? What is this? The freaking betrayal of freaking Mitsuhide and Nobunaga? No, no, this is freaking Kodro and Masamune. They're destined to be together as partners. Well, not like that in a way, but you get the point. They're supposed to trust one another. This is not, this I don't approve. Anyways, let's read a letter. We're gonna read a letter. My goodness, Yumiko. So you were a woman this whole time. Now that I know it makes perfect sense, but it was still quite the shock. By the way, I heard that someone tried to poison Lord Masamuni again. Do you have any idea who could it be behind? Okay, Yumiko, you're slow. You're very slow. You're now saying that I'm a woman. You're very slow. You sent this letter very slow. You should have sent this letter sooner or later. That is slow, Yumiko. You're you're so slow. My goodness, you're a woman. Good gosh, Yumiko. Let's get back to reading. <sighs> okay, cold Jerome. I will help you. I will save you. Trapped. Episode 10. I don't believe that. I'm at a complete loss for words. But compared to me, Lord Masamuni looks utterly calm. That's not funny, Zane. Where is your proof? The pottery that was used is one of Kodro personal bowls, and the veil of poison was found in his room. 
Additionally, we found instructions to Kojiro's handwriting dealing, detailing where and when to make the drop of the poisoned food. The, that can't be. I can't stop myself from saying, okay, it has to be a mistake. So, someone is framing him. I'm going to say that. Someone is framing him. Someone is framing him. No way. Someone has to be framing him. There's no way Lord Kojiro would ever poison Lord Masamune. Suddenly, Lord Masamune chuckles. Yeah, she's right. Masamune, if that's the evidence you have, then it proves to me that he's not the culprit. I had a burp. Lord Masamune declares confidentially. If Kodro really did wish to kill me, he wouldn't be stupid enough to leave any evidence at all. Lord Masamune cross leg props his chin up with one hand. I can't help but feel calm myself in the face of his unshakable resolve. Well, yeah, I guess. It's times like this that leave me deeply moved by the strength of the bond between them. Of course, Lord Masamune and Lord Kodro have a bond of trust between them that no one could ever break. But no matter how much you insist upon his innocent, people aren't going to keep quiet, Masamune. Yeah, I bet they won't. Where's Kojiro now? The head retainer is questioning him. I don't know anything beyond that. Get him here under the present, I mean, pretense of being under arrest. Then get rid of the unluckus. Lord Masamune orders under his breath. Lord Zane and I exchange a look, then a bow to Lord Masamune together. Got it. My lord. Yeah, I'm glad that Masamune understands. He understands. Yes, I picked the right answer. I thought I picked the wrong answer. Sheesh, better stays up. As Lord Masamune requested, Lord Kodro is now in his room with no other retainers in sight. Did one of Mogami men do this? Masamune asked Kodro indifferent. Mogami Yoshikata, Lord Masamune's uncle. He was friendly enough to introduce to Kion, but seeing it as just a front, both Mos Masamune and Kodro have had their eyes on him for some time. Perhaps. Kojiro replies after thinking it over. While you were away in Kyoto, Lord Masamune, a new cook as well as a new taster, arrived. I looked into them both and saw that they have close connection to Lord Mamigami. Masamune's expression does not change, but Kojiro's does. Lord Masamune, are you upset that they set the trap for me, not you? I have no intention of forgiving them for it, if that is what you mean. My goodness, you've become so much more expressive. She's really done something to you. Listen to you. Do you really think now is the time for that? Despite the anger in Masamune's voice, Kojiro just shakes his head and continues. Actually, I've been looking at Lord Mugami with suspicion for some time. But I have also been concerned about you if your relationship with Lady Yoshiham gets any worse. As it seems to have been, I thought that you would once again find yourself unable to trust people. Kojo frowns slightly, the pain coming through his voice, but it appears I had no need to worry about that at least. Now Kojo smiles warm and genuine. I'll take care of everything. You just stay here. 
write in one of those silly palms of yours. As you wish, my lord. Masamune and Kojiro exchange a warm look and a smile. I told you, they're homeboys. They're freaking homeboys. They'll always get along. I told you. What well, worries? I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So stay on stick here until next time King of Plays. Same year I love ballad party. I think my life is in danger. I might be the one that's going to get killed. But who knows? I don't know. Well, we'll see. Bye.